Hi everyone, welcome back to TS Talks, hope you're doing good, keeping safe. Now, you know, my last video was talking about London being put into Tier 3, and, you know, consequently, only a few days later, it's now being put into Tier 4. Um, you know, the government did a press conference at 4 o'clock um, to announce Tier 4, which I think is a bit ironic. Um, and... You know, they've put in some guidelines in place, you know, that all non-essential retail will close, um, hairdressers, all that sort of stuff will be shut, gyms, etc. And, you know, the whole Christmas ease and plan is done for. Um, now, for me, uh, I think the implementation of this Tier 4, to me, just sounds like you're just reiterating the, the, the Tier 3. Um, when I was told that, you know, London was going into tier three, from what I was under the impression of was that, you know, things were just going to be, you know, shut down. You know, when I was going to work and I was like, oh, all these shops are open. Like, what is that? You know, this ain't a lockdown. But now, you know, it's kind of like a, a reiteration of it. And they obviously said that you can't mix between household to Christmas and all that sort of stuff, which, again, I don't think it's going to... Um, help people's, um, you know, that people that suffer with, you know, mental health and stuff. And um, don't get me wrong, the whole talk of talking about people suffering with mental health doesn't mean that you're mentally unwell. But you know, mental health is about how you feel within your your mind. And you know, people that's been looking forward to see their their relatives and loved ones for Christmas to kind of be told five days before actually, you know what, you can't be doing this household mixings and stuff. Um, it, it's it's definitely an effect on them, uh, and for me, um, I've said it in a few videos before, and I'll continue to say it. You know, all these implementing of rules and, and and lockdowns and stuff. All it's proved to me is that more or less nothing seems to be working. We've put in masks in shops and transport and stuff for however long. We're, we're, we're it, by the sounds of it in a worse stage now you know um, these two meters all this other stuff we seem to be in a worse stage now so what is the plan of dealing with this because the lockdowns and stuff uh, and all these other things that you've implemented clearly haven't worked and it's all good saying oh you've got yes yes you know we've got the vaccine and you know um we're going to roll it out and all this sort sort of crap. But now you're saying there's a new strain of the virus. So there's a virus that, you know, everyone's been, you know, cautious and, you know, trying to avoid since February, March this year. And now you've got a, a vaccine for that particular strain of the virus. Now you're saying there's a new strain of the virus, which is, you know, it's spreading like wildfire. Which means you ain't even got a vaccine for the new strain. So, I I, I don't know, man, you know. I, I, I give these people in charge a, a lot of stick because a lot of it is they, they just can't be seen to be um, trustworthy. And, you know, obviously there's a lot of people out there that have, you know, theories and stuff about the government and whatnot. And you know what? The best way to address people's theories is to, is to is you know to call the call people out on it uh, and you know point out points and and in time people can see what is fact factual or not um that that's the reality of it and you know I, from what i see all these lockdowns ain't doing nothing except um affecting people's businesses and stuff it wasn't so long ago they were talking about doing a second eat out to help out for the month of december you know all, all it is to some people, they see this as a, oh, it's a psychological thing, you know. Some people might be like, oh, no, you know, there's a virus and whatnot. But to some people, it seems like, oh, this is a psychological thing, um, you know, for the government to control you. And, and you know, at the end of the day, people are entitled to their thoughts and opinions, you know. We're human beings, we have human rights, everyone's not the same. Everyone has their own right to have an opinion, and everyone's opinion and voice matters and that's my thought on it you know i i just think it's ridiculous i just think it clearly there's a 
a lack of planning. Obviously, Boris saying, you know, when, you know, when the virus changes its its um, choice of method, we have to change our choice of action. What is the virus talking to you? Saying it, it's a virus. Okay, you know, it's been here now for about three quarters of the year, and somehow nothing's nothing's working. Don't get me wrong, I know there's people out there that's not, you know, abiding by the rules. But truth be told, there's a lot of the people not abiding by the rules that, you know, they're not, they seem to be the ones that, you know, no one they know is catching COVID. They're not catching COVID. And that's what's flaunting them to not abide by the rules even more. Because they're like, well, you know, where where is this virus? I might have breaking, well, not me, but they're thinking there. And they must be like, I might have breaking rules left, right and centre. I ain't getting no, no virus. What's going on? You know, so I uh, I don't know. I just think it's ridiculous, and you know, to many people, it seems like it's just a, a a thing of you know, breaking people down more and more to the point where they're like, oh yeah, just give me the vaccine, and and you know, um, like I've said in previous videos, anyone that has a theory on on the vaccine and whatnot, they're entitled to their theory on it. And the only way people can kind of debunk it or try and call people call people out on it is to address um their theories with facts. That that's all I can really say on it. And you know, I don't wanna see no talk about oh Boris is gonna get his vaccine on on live television and you know, there was even Sadiq Khan he was getting his vaccine or oh, his flu jab. Um <laughs> And I'm sure it was something even like the cap was still on or, you know, he was getting it injected through his sleeve or something. It was, it was something funny. Um, I can't even remember it right now off the top of my head, but it was like, man, you, you lot ain't, you lot ain't trick me, bruv. And, you know, people call you out on this stuff. You know, back in the day when there weren't technology and that, you know, people, people would, you know, be like, oh, okay, you know, most of the things that, these funny things that go on, people don't see it, but people see it nowadays. But, you know, away from that, this is just a, a brief discussion on, you know, um, London quickly moving from Tier 3 to Tier 4, um, which I more or less, you know, kind of said is basically they were just reiterating the Tier 3 because what Tier 3 was meant to be was, you know, everything shut down, etc., etc. But instead, they've just moved it to this, you know, tier four so you know who knows what it is um it, by the sounds of it you know christmas is is cancelled i don't know about all that but you know that's what they're making it sound like you know um you must you must cancel your plans you must change your plans all this sort of, of jazz i'm not really into all of it truth be told but yeah that's what the people them are saying so um, I'd be grateful to get your thoughts in it in the comment section below. And if you haven't already done so, go ahead and subscribe button now. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.